Food fraud in Europe amounts to several million euros. One of the agricultural products most affected by counterfeiting is wine. Thanks to sophisticated techniques, it's possible to verify the quality and origin of the grapes, in this way protecting consumers and producers. European wines have been threatened more and more by advanced adulteration techniques during the last decades. So we need new methods to find out what we're really drinking. Carrying out this forensic work is the EU Joint Research Centre. Their job is to find out what wines are made of at an atomic level. The first step involves harvesting the grapes from their region of production. These inspectors, supervised by Italy's Ministry of Agriculture in Catania, are picking grape in the Etna vineyards to get them analysed. To check whether a wine's authentic, we get the isotopic ratios from the official sample and we compare them with the reference data. How does it work? We first refer to the database to choose the reference samples for that grape vintage, for that year, for that controlled designation of origin. Then we make a comparison of the parameters we've got from the data database with the parameters found on that data sample. After having collected grape samples, researchers produce a sample batch of wine which is then analysed by sophisticated techniques to determine the isotopic characteristics of its alcohol and water. That's extremely important as the main kinds of wine adulteration are adding water, alcohol or sugar. The information is sent to the EU Wine Data Bank in Gell. At the laboratories, we can see how nuclear-based technology is used to identify the fingerprint of a genuine wine. This is a sample of alcohol that's resulted from the distillation of a wine. If we, for instance, had added sugar to increase the alcoholic level of the wine, then the final picture would be different. Nuclear magnetic resonance and mass spectrometry are the most powerful analytical tools for the authentication of wine, since they provide a picture at an atomic level. These can pinpoint a specific natural environment, such as latitude, altitude and temperature. What we're determining here in particular is the oxygen present in the water of the wine. The oxygen in Europe varies according to the latitude. So, for example, wines that are produced in Sicily have different oxygen values compared to the ones made in Germany. Each year, researchers across the European Union produce an updated profile of all the wines made in their own countries. This huge amount of data is sent here to the Joint Research Centre in Gell. All this allows us to have a data set by country, by region, by grape variety, of which we can be sure that they've been derived from authentic wine samples. About 1,600 samples per year are added to the database. At present, there are already more than 20,000 samples. This information is available to all member states and is crucial when the quality and origin of a wine is suspect and legal action may have to be taken. <laughs>